Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to do a short video on my Toyota Corolla. Uh, it has been a while that I did a video on my uh, 95 Corolla. There are a, a few of subscribers that are asking about an update or a video regarding my Corolla. So today I'm gonna do that. And today I'm just gonna go over the parts that I put into my Corolla here. Most of them are from eBay or from the junkyard. All right, so with that statement, go ahead and show you guys around the car and you know, show all the parts that I bought for this car. All right, so let's start with the front of the car. Uh, the headlights here, they're JDM headlights. I bought these from eBay. Uh, they came with the, uh, the yellow ember corner lights. The, uh, the headlamps are in glass. Uh, you do have to do a conversion on them to work. Um, it fit the H4 bulb, so you will need a conversion to fit onto your uh, 9006 or 9005, whatever that may be, to get your low beam and high beam to work. So these are from eBay. They cost about around 100 bucks. They do look really nice. Yes, you have to do some modification. And yes, you will have to change your front grille. This front grille, I bought that from eBay as well. This is a JDM front grille. You have to buy the front grille with the headlights to be able to fit because the uh, USDM uh, part does not fit the JDM headlights. And the front bumper. Uh, I believe this is called a, a Euro Touring front bumper. Um, yes, I bought this from eBay as well. Uh, bought it a few years back. Uh, shipped it all the way from uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, got this for around 300 bucks. It came with the uh, the corner signal light as well. And yes, it's not in perfect shape. It have you know scrapes, scratches, damage, paint fading and all that. I had to sit it down, bundle a little bit here and there, and got a paint to look just like this. And with the lower lip here, this lip here came off a 94 to 96 Acura Integra. Uh, yes, you had to modify it a little bit to make it fit this bumper. I believe uh, you can make it fit the USD front bumper as well. But then uh, with this bumper here, it looks a lot nicer. Uh, it is a short nose. As you can see, the front bumper or well, the front of the nose here is a lot shorter. Uh, unlike the USDM, it's longer. But this made the car stand out a lot. All right, so moving on to the uh, the hood bra. I bought that from eBay as well. It cost me about 100 bucks. And these wheels here. I also bought these wheels from eBay as well. Um, they're 15 by 6.5. Uh, wrap around 18560 R15. Okay, and the side skirt here, I got this from the Junkyard. They came off the uh, the 8th Gen Corolla S. So I got this from the Junkyard, sent them down, uh, got it painted to match the car. And moving on to the back here. Uh, this rear spoiler lip here, I got that from eBay as well. Cost me about 100 bucks. This sitting garnish light here. Got that from the junkyard. Uh, I forgot how much it is, but I think about 20 to 30 bucks. All right, so let's go into the interior. And I'm going to the uh, driver's side door here. All right, so this steering wheel here I got this from the junkyard as well. The original one is pretty like worn out. And I got this one from another uh, Corolla. Uh, so it looks pretty mint. Uh, no damage or nothing like that. This, uh, these seats here, I got these seats from the junkyard as well. The original seat on this car was pretty uh, pretty nasty. Most stained that I was unable to remove. So I got these from the junkyard as well for less than a hundred bucks. Front seat with the uh, front seat with the rear seat as well uh, to match the car because the color looks very similar uh, similar to the floor mat and the, uh, the carpet and I got this armrest here as well this here I got it from the junkyard too uh, normally uh, most of the uh, Corolla this year does not come with it I believe the, uh, the model the LE model only comes with it but yeah, it makes the car look pretty nice, stand out. All right, so I'm going to the engine here, the uh, upper strut mount. Here, I got this from eBay. The brand is Megan Racing. 
And I also got this uh, old cash can here from eBay as well. Cost me about like 50 bucks. And lastly, uh, these Max Mini Run pullovers here. I got these online, not from eBay, but then actually from the Max Spinning Rod website. Uh, they cost me a little bit over 300. Um, when I have like the front of the rear on, it's very stiff, very bumpy, and actually uh, scrape a lot on the rear. So I decided to remove the rear. I kept the front, kept the front here, as you can see. I kept the front, Max Spinning Rod pullovers on the front. But for the rear, I put my uh, KYBs and the uh, lower spring valve line back on. As you can see here, there is no coilovers. So on the rear is actually the KYB with the uh, valve line lower spring. And uh, that actually uh, eliminate the stiffness and the bumpiness. It actually right pretty smooth. So it's kind of like a mix and match suspension. Uh, so this is my perspective. I think it rides pretty good. It, uh, it actually eliminates the bumpy, the stiffness, and the scraping. And it actually drives pretty good and handles pretty well. Uh, yes, the front is a little bit more stiff than the rear, but it actually rides pretty good. Yeah, I like it a lot. Okay, so right now I'm actually at Lake Oro at the very top of the dam. And I'm gonna go back to town and take the shorter route that have like five or six curved pins. I'm gonna test out these Max Beating Rod coolovers here to see how well they handle. stop here for now you know trying to uh, review those videos and uh it's making this like vibration noise so i'm gonna i'm gonna delete those noise out of the way but then uh during the the curve pins i'm actually going like 50 to like 55 and 60. uh 60 you're like pushing it a little bit uh the car feels like it's starting to skin but then uh you know like 50 to 45 you know it can handle those curves no problem you know there's no body roll it, it drives pretty good. So these max speed rides actually, you know, hold up pretty well uh, as for handling, but then uh, as for the ride quality, they're not that great, you know, they're pretty stiff. So, you know, if, if you're those type of guy that, you know, you don't mind having a stiff ride, then yeah, max speeding ride is definitely for you. If you want a good quality coilovers that, you know, handles well, I do recommend you to buy a different brand. So that's going to be it for my video. I hope those, you know, eBay parts and junkyard parts help you guys out there. You know, if you are looking for some parts for your Corolla, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video.
If you guys have any questions, please comment them below. Thank you. Have a good day.